Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. And if you don't like my politics, don't buy my book. Problem solved. Okay, fine, fine. Is, is that what you want? Oh, it's so hot. Oh, um, so hot. Is this like nerve movie eye contact? Jump up, flip, and drop with the lapel burn. Next stepping. Oh, so hot. It's so hot and so hot. Women, huh? <laughs>Now, for those of you who have been under a rock, or those of you who have not realized what this channel is, or those of you who have not realized this channel has returned, many years ago in the 2000 era, there was a channel called Tech TV. And that was launched in the 2000s. After a time period, it wasn't doing too well. And some changes were made, some new people came in, and the G4 network was launched. Now, back then, G4 was a great channel. It was very good. This covered a lot of the fandom world, what you see today on YouTube. Uh, it was covering comic books. It was covering video games. It was covering... Uh, the internet, uh, it was, it, they went to Comic-Cons, uh, live, mind you, uh, they did a many different events, uh, they showed a little bit of sex appeal, which there's no problem with sex appeal, objectivity, you know, you're going to get that, you're going to get that, and it was a lot of fun, and from the clips you saw, the couple of clips you saw, this is the type of stuff that you would get on G4. For those of you who are just listening into that, those are segments from the original G4 broadcast, which aired a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. After a time period, the ratings on G4 started to die. This is where YouTube was coming in heavily. This is where the changes that were coming. And this was toward about the... Uh, in the 2010-2014 period. And a lot of the shows like Stuff I Love, uh, X-Play, Attack of the Show, uh, many others were being canceled. A lot of people were getting fired, like Adam Sessler and many others. And then the channel became the Esquire channel, the Esquire magazine channel. I think it changed again. I think it's something new now. I think it, it's something different now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, did it become the Paramount Network? Or was that the other one? It's one or the other. And for many years, people had asked that to bring this back. I mean, this is a network that literally, that literally put American Ninja Warrior on the map. They went from the original version, which was overseas, and created their own American Ninja Warrior version. And basically, it... You know, it, it put it it put it on the um, rating shelf, which NBC did very well with this. And you had play, companies like the WWE and several other and UFC who wanted to buy the network in 2011, but it just didn't work out well. I mean, there were there were some great shows, great people that had a lot of fun. I mean, this is what it used to look like before G4. This is a little bit. This is this is Morgan Webb in her early days. System tray every time you boot your computer. I know, I'm excited too. All right, there's lots of steps, so go to thescreensavers.com for the full set of instructions. I read it all out for you. And again, in case you missed it the first time, my email is morgan at techtv.com. Back to you, Mr. Hard News Guy. <laughs> because you may have heard this with this particular frost whatever her name is on there mentioned Morgan Webb this, and this is her this was heard on X play a vanity of 12 year olds and anime fans get a lot of big eyed characters who don't make you know the lot of the changes the show made they took they took some challenges they took they became a little bit adventurous 
And um, I'll tell you, it, I'll tell you, it was a great show. They did a lot of stuff on there. Yes, the girls were sexy on there. But there were a lot of other... The guys were liked as well. There were a lot going on with this show. And you ask yourself, you know, here, perfect example, Olivia Munn, you know her from on there. What happened to her after G4? Well, she got a big movie career. She left before the, before the end. And where did she end up? She ended up doing uh, basically a lot of TV shows. HBO, she was Sloan Sabbath in the TV series The Newsroom, which was a hit movie. I mean, excuse me, hit TV series. Then she went to do Psylocke on X-Men Apocalypse. She was in the movie The Predator. And she's still doing stuff today. The Rook, uh, she's voicing on Hit Monkey. And she's in pre-production with another, I think, I don't know if it's a movie or a series, Aleppo, which is in pre-production right now. She's done a lot. She's done a lot. Now, I do have my couple of issues with her uh, recently because she's been acting a little weird and she had some face work done, which is, that's separate on there. But she was a very beautiful woman. Beautiful woman, which there's no problem with having a beautiful woman. Now, G4 recently started to come back. And I did mention it on Mad Men with the show. It was relaunched on the in October 2021. And it had a good group of people on there. Uh, then we had the Frost. I call her Frost. Uh, she's in esports. Then they hired King Woods from the WWE, which was Austin Creed. Uh, you know, Kevin Pereira returned. Uh, Adam Sessler. Uh, and, that was and there were a couple others that they added brand new to there. But pretty much the, the other staff did not come back. Morgan Webb. Uh, Blair Herter. Um, many of the others that, you know, were very good on the show. Uh, and, you know, it's a shame. It's a shame. Especially to see what is going on. And you already saw in the videos. And I'm going to tell you this. And I'll tell you straight out and speaking to G4 directly. Understand this, and especially to Frosk. One thing, when you look at your chat screen. You don't know who is behind that name, okay? You don't know who is it, male, female, adult, child. You don't know. For someone to make a comment. Sexism in gaming. And joining G4. Woo! This is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I have no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. And joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us. I can see you. Without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. Take it, take it with a grain of salt. People will criticize you by you sitting there and being full, full, straight out, political, out of the book, I, I, you know, right out of the box is going to kill the rest of the network. You already seen what happened on the Kevin, on that live stream on Attack of the Show with Kevin Pereira, where you... There were people who came in, like uh, Geeks and Gamers and all that, and they didn't say anything bad. They said hello and this and that. Nothing bad. And they were getting banned by G4. Quartering. Uh, you know, there were many others. Hmm. Gee, wonder who's in the other end watching on the chat rooms banning them. Huh, G4? Huh? Huh? Talk about you. She Frost didn't pull any punches to the situation, which it ended up to be. If you don't like my product, don't watch. That's what gets you canceled. That's what shuts down your business. Ask the comic book industry. And if you don't like my politics, don't buy my book. Problem solved. 
as the gaming industry, as TV shows like Batwoman, as the CW network, how they're doing. And I, you know, and I ain't even going to go get into the cat catastrophe on their opening stream where basically they were giving away laptops and the people that they were looking at, they said, oh yeah, you, you, all you got to do is say this in the chat and stuff like that. They were picking people from Twitch and not YouTube. Pissed people off on there. And did they resolve that? Did they resolve that? No, they did not. That's when they started to lose their viewers when that happened. And that was just the first week. Now, the thing is, when I first reported this, I had my doubts. I had big doubts of the situation. And I said to myself, you know, I'm going to give them their moment. Because there's Adam and there's Kevin. I was hoping Olivia might rejoin because there, I reported that there was negotiation at the time. I don't know what happened with that. That pretty much died out. Now I'm familiar with Austin Creed. And I said, okay, that's a nice choice on there. And also Kasim G. And then I saw they said this girl named Frost. And I'm like, okay. I don't know. I don't know her. She's from esports and they need someone from esports. But now we're learning. And then she, she stepped into it. Oh, we don't write our own reviews. We do give a couple, our two cents in the writing of it, but we don't do our own reviews. You could see this from the Twitch, not from Twitch, excuse me, from tw her Twitter page, which she just keeps stepping over herself. Says, well, we have to get it out. We have to get it out. You know, one thing that I've learned from working this channel is that right now on my YouTube channel, the, sh the videos that are doing very well are from a month or two ago. Some of them up to four months ago. I think what it happened is YouTube stopped paying attention to those videos in the algorithm. And now they're hitting the algorithm and they're hitting them hard because I'm starting to get views, 1,000, 2,000 views on certain videos. And then, you know, you look at something like G4, which... They're not getting that many views. And you know that they're wide out and open to the fans. Because they have, what is it, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, a couple other companies. Burger, is it Burger King that's, that's on their channel also as well? And then of course their Twitch channel as well. I mean, they do have an amount of people watching, but they're starting to lose those people. And of course, we're going to have a little talk about Adam Sessler who basically has become total political. You're there to sell the show. You're there to sell yourself to, to the audience. If you throw a little sex appeal in there, you're on a geek show. Of course, guys are going to take that. And the same thing on the other hand in women. And now we're hearing that basically these reviews are being written by other people. Have they played the games? Have they really played the games? Because it doesn't sound like they've played the games. Because they have a lot of confusion out there.